the dude, um, the firefighter guy, uh, Trump, people that support him. I just want you to know, okay, just in case you're confused or it seems like I'm, uh, you don't, whatever. If one of you were in the crowd and you're a conservative fan of mine and you end up, you know, getting blown away or whatever the fuck, I'm making fun of you the next day on Twitter. I am 100%. As if like brave. Me. Nothing to see here ladies and gentlemen, just a left-leaning streamer giving up on empathy. A person in the crowd cheering for and supporting a traitor to the country and caught stray? I'm so sad, please. But he used to like to talk and suddenly he went full, full, full left. This is the effing Riri that got killed at the Trump rally, effing Lamau. Even his friends tried to stop him. Hello? Oh, there we are. We have an audible connection now. Can you hear me? Oh, my shit's working. What's up? Yeah. So, uh, you made a tweet, and, uh, I got... I'm, I'm feeling a certain kind of way about it, okay? Um, I... I don't... And you can call me soy all you like, right? Um, but just because the other side, like Trump, uh, jokes about Pelosi's husband getting hammered by a, a guy with a hammer and things, just because that side engages in that kind of behavior and that kind of rhetoric and that kind of um ha 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 we can joke about the bad things that happen to them i don't think that makes it okay for us to turn around and do the same and in fact i think that's one of the reasons we are at this point that we are in this country no where... i reject that no why we need to that, uh, that needs to stop the whole idea that like well the reason why we're here is because liberals and the left just haven't cucked out enough the reason why we're here the reason why we don't have our supreme court justice the reason why trump has to get criminal immunity to survive his court cases because the left just isn't kind enough Nah, I'm over it. I'm super over it. You're a victim. My only regret is that the guy didn't spend more time. Yes, that's exactly what you're that saying. That is not what you're I'm here. Hold on, hold on. You're saying we're here right now because the left is like turning the temperature too much. No, we're here right now because Trump is fucking insane because he has support from 90% of the conservatives in the Republican Party who are entirely un-American. Fuck them. Whatever happens, happens. I don't give a fuck. At this point, my only regret is that the guy didn't spend enough time practicing first. Holy it is insane shit. how much conservatives get to set the fucking standard on all the conversation in this country. It's absolutely insane. We're supposed to jump up and feel sad that the guy who is one of the most yes. divisive presidents in all of history got shot at? Fucking give me a break. Please Two give people? me a fucking break. Okay, one person is dead who isn't Trump, right, who got shot out. Someone in the crowd that was just wait, going wait, wait, to wait, a wait, rally wait. who got okay, fucking wait, wait. murked I'm sorry, by this wait, wait. guy. Wait, and wait, two I others are in critical condition. I think it's okay to show a little empathy. Don't you? You're right. Hold on. I'm sorry. I didn't know somebody else died. What state was this in? Pennsylvania. My state. Swing state voter. Fuck you. <clears throat> sorry, what? Hello? Okay. But then a well-known person called Dom Lucre, breaker of narratives, called him out. He even included Elon Musk and he responded, You're right, this is not appropriate for content for advertisers. And then Destiny responded, Oh my god, I thought it was a free speech platform. Well, the difference is, what you define as hate speech is totally different the way you are using your hate speech. Somebody finally had the balls to bring a pew pew. And in that I see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. People don't even realize how lucky Trump is. He was so, no, that ain't luck. God bless him. God bless that man. I'm not going to expand on what I'm about to say because it'll probably get taken down. But like, A for effort, man. Good for trying. He tried. There was an attempt made. So close. The message to whoever shot at Trump, use the lame ass bitch, cause how the fuck did you shoot and miss? No bitch, if you have a mission, make sure you hit that target the fuck right. Bitch, you ain't practice before you get your ass over there, huh? I always think this, if you're screaming something and you have a person behind you that thinks like a child and reacts like a child, you have to be careful with the words you're using. I hear a uh, mixed, some people are saying, because Donald Trump is such an uh, authoritarian and autocrat, we have to win this election. This is not a normal election where you, you want to win. If you don't, you, you cooperate and do the best you can for the country and hope to win the next time. This is something that is undermining our democracy, and he must be stopped. 
He cannot be president. Entered the game as an outsider. Hit it by both sides, even had my house wired. Time of felon retribution promise they're not really do it. That's why people choose a prize fighter. United States and other hostage held by evil forces. This is war, life and death. It ain't just wins and losses. In politics, cross the wrong powers, be cautious. They tap my phone, treating presidents like mob bosses. Fathers, they won't cover lying like bed sheets. Deny on the laptop, while well, I get bit for me tweets. In 30 years, I've been calling this since 95. They take it all if you let them, only the strong survive. They tried to take me out with lies, and now I hear the cry. As they all realize they keep to shoot when people rise It's 47 and 50, you can't be too surprised I'm going back to D.C. with MAGA on the ride Hate of the love of the underdogs on top And I'm gonna shine, homie, until my heart stops But head hate on me, can't stop DJT And I ain't going nowhere, so you can get to know You had one job Whoever that was, I can't say it Because I don't want no problems But you had one f***ing job And you missed how can you laugh a word so much but you can't even write it properly hey just thinking about it how the shooter missed his shot at trump despite fighting eight rounds made me think of all the times we could have been something but the timing wasn't right let's give it another shot never in all my life have i ever wished someone had better aim the level of patheticness and inhumanity one has to have to actually say something as absolutely vile as this is it, it'll never cease to amaze me. And the fact that this person's an influencer with over 2 million followers is an absolute cause for concern. Anybody that absolutely supports this person in regards to being a follower or a company should absolutely be on blast for this. She is wishing death on a president, on, it, on anybody. It doesn't matter who. We would never wish that on Biden or Kamala, and I personally, and I know hundreds of friends would personally come out and condemn that. You're a vile, sick individual, and you need to seek help. To expand hiring, they're aiming to have 30% women recruits by 2030, and even allowed YouTube influencer Michelle Carey to train with agents. But I'm very conscious uh, as, uh, as I sit in this chair now of making sure that we need to uh, attract diverse candidates and ensure that we are developing and giving opportunities to everybody in our workforce um, and particularly women. In their defense, Trump isn't a president so maybe he didn't get all the details of the FBI. But I do think also the FBI sent even the best in that direction. Local cop confronted would-be Trump attacker Thomas Matthew Crooks on the roof moments before he opened fire but failed to stop him. The Secret Service confirmed after the shooting that it relied heavily on the local police to help support its security efforts at the rally. So in all honesty, they didn't get the best and they didn't get the best FBI either. I am not kidding when I say that my husband once almost got shot by the Secret Service because he came down a staircase. I was speaking at the NRA, NRA and he snaked in and came down and they didn't know who he was. And they were like, freeze, 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 freeze. Like, we will shoot you right now. So you're telling me that guy walked up and was trying to get the attention, the Secret Service saw him, and he's pointing, and he's saying, this guy's got a gun, this guy's got a gun, and they're pretending they don't know what's going on? I mean, am, am I crazy? Do you guys actually believe this was a failure in intelligence? All of these Secret Service agents crawling around, and you don't think just what that guy said, said that is common sense, okay? They're trying to now tell us that common sense is a conspiracy. <laughs> Yep. Man, look at me, hell no! My name is Matthew Murphy, and I am a retired Green Beret, retired from this Special Forces Group, but I'm also a level one sniper, which means that I have graduated the, the highest level of training for snipers that you can do in special operations. We're trained, I'm going to avoid uh, confidential or classified terminology, we're trained in assassinations and counter assassinations. First of all, uh, anywhere the president's going to go, there are teams from the Secret Service that go out days, if not weeks, if not months, before the president will ever be at that spot. And they do a site security assessment. And they do that with the local uh, police forces and agencies to ensure that every potential security threat or vulnerability is secured and, of course, protected against. Now, this is done way before Donald Trump will ever get there. And they know every place that the president will be and the sniper team especially is responsible for ensuring that no one can take a shot at the president. Now that does not mean that the sniper team just sets up with their guns and scans the crowd and shoots. No, what they do, the most important thing they do, pre-Donald Trump showing up, 
is within a 360 degree environment of that podium of the president, they ensure that there is not a place that is open that will be accessible by someone with a rifle to take a shot at the president. So they make sure those places are barricaded off, unaccessible, and heavily guarded so there is no way you are going to get to the place where you could even shoot the president with a rifle before the president shows up. Then they scan the crowd and those places with the rifle just in case by some miracle you do. Now you're not going to tell me, I don't care who you are, don't listen to the media, it's nonsense anyways, I think most of us know that by now, that some 20 year old kid that looks like he played Dungeon and Dragons in his mom's basement is trained on a gun, especially a sniper rifle like that, is a registered Republican, and then can access anywhere near the vicinity of that crowd, of that event, with him not dressed in a uniform and that sniper rifle. He was wearing American flag t-shirt and pants, and he had a rifle. You're going to tell me that that kid went through all the levels of security, somehow got into the closest building to the president, then accessed the rooftop of the closest building to the president, then had the time to unpack his rifle, lay down in the prone, and then take five to eight well-aimed shots at the president before he was decisively engaged by the Secret Services counter sniper teams or a local police department. I don't know who they were, most likely police. You're gonna tell me all that happened and a 20-year-old kid did that without it being heavily planned, coordinated, and people on the inside making it happen, there's absolutely no way possible that that kid was able to get up there and take those shots at the president without a lot of internal help. So someone in that local, or, or some people inside that local police department agency or the Secret Service is compromised and is a threat to our president. So we need to stop worrying about that damn shooter and start worrying about who allowed this shit to happen. And that edit is so amazing, I'm going to put my profile picture just like him. Because even the black people want to protect Trump right now. Now listen to what I'm saying. If you decide to continue to do this, and you go out here on these little stages and do all this other stuff, you go straight to the hood, man. Go get you 40 to 50 of them cats standing around on the blocks, on the corners. And you had them protect you. Because I guarantee you, that would have never happened. Because as paranoid as the cats in the hood are, that dude would have never got up on that roof. I promise you. In all seriousness, if Trump showed up at the rally with 50 gangsters protecting him, he'd win 99% of the black vote. <laughs> Let me know if you agree in the comments. Don't get me wrong, my boss at it a bong. Put the fire na mi blonde, kush hash purple skunk, creo yo colombici jam jam, dur lo que ta verde ta welcome.